A sanctum is a story that I've always personally wanted to tell, which is inviting the audience to step through a window into a world, into an alternate reality. My God, would you look at that? Then you have that willing suspension of disbelief. You have that beautiful amnesia that takes place where you forget who you are, you forget where you are, and you become those people in that situation. There's an airbell up there, about 100 feet up. A big airbell. George, you've got to see this. There's got to be a whole new cave system up there. Initially, Sanctum, as it was conceived, I was really uh, keen to try and make this film in real locations. And in fact, the, the initial foray into making the film, we scouted all over the world. We went to you know, Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, around Australia, to Puerto Rico, to the Yucatan. It seems to be appealing superficially to let's get in some real caves and do it, and do it for real. Um, but you discover very quickly how hard it is to shoot in those environments. The cave sets were, were fantastic though. I mean, it was pretty much a complete replication of, of different cave environments with no apparent mercy for the actor. A lot of this film has been NAR, which is no acting required. We're divers, underground in a cave. You've run from here to there in a wetsuit with boots on. And say, say your lines, whatever that might, may be. My leg hurts, my leg hurts. <sighs> no acting required. The fear was real, really real. We, we couldn't have achieved anything like we'd done if we'd sort of done it 100% in real caves. Um, as, as we discovered in Gambia in particular, for example, you know, and the water temperature is at about 13 degrees. You can actually only work in the water for about 30 minutes. I'm so happy that we did the second unit stuff at Mount Gambia because I think the visuals are really quite startling. And people, will, you know, they're going to see something they've never seen before in their lives. Um, and I think that's going to have a real resonance in, in our story. The intention was to, to play it very real, very plausible, and to make it a psychological drama of survival in a unique and exotic environment that most people have never seen. 